All right, FAQ number 10. The question is, wasn't Erasmus a Catholic, a Roman Catholic? Uh, the man who started to compile what later became known as the Textus Receptus, uh, Desiderius Erasmus, way back in the early 1500s, uh, he was a Catholic scholar, a Roman Catholic scholar. And Martin Luther was a Roman Catholic priest, as was William Tyndale. And these guys, uh, they all started to make translations of what would become later the Textus Receptus. And so the argument is, when I come out and I say that all the new versions are Roman Catholic, they say, yes, but Erasmus was a Catholic. Trying to kind of, you know, oh, okay, well then, I guess the new versions are okay, and the King James Bible is a Catholic Bible or something ridiculous. No, and uh, I'm going to show you the problems with that whole philosophy of Erasmus was a Catholic. Okay, problem number one, the King James translators did not use the text of Erasmus as their sole text. Okay, I have here, this is a Textus Receptus, like what the New Testament would have been that the um, translators uh, of the King James Bible would have used. Let me zoom in here a little bit. Okay, move my screen back. Theodore Beza published in Geneva four folio editions of the Stephens Greek text, which with some changes in a Latin translation of his own in 1565, 1582, 1588, and 1598. During this period, Beza also published several octavo, octavo editions in there. You can see those editions of Beza, particularly that of 1598. And the two last editions of Stephens were the chief sources used for the English authorized version of 1611. Okay. So it was not Erasmus's text. So these people tell you, oh, it's Erasmus's text. They don't know what they're talking about. And here is the uh, Holy Scriptures in the original languages. You have Hebrew and Greek right there by the Trinitarian Bible Society. All right. So to say that the King James Bible was based on Erasmus's text, uh, not so. Okay. And I just want to make another point. Erasmus did not make the text out of thin air. All he was doing is compiling the text from ancient manuscripts that he was finding. And you say, well, he only had a couple of them. You know, he only had a handful of manuscripts. Okay, if you want to make a edition of a Greek text, do you have to have 5,000 manuscripts laid out there on your table and look at each one? No, you pick the best copies and make that text. And it's ironic because of the, all the extant manuscripts of today, over 99% still line up with over here the received text. Less than 1% line up over here with the new version text. Okay? And uh, you say, well, who's behind these new versions? Well, here, and I've shown this thing many, many times, but you might be new to this and not really know. This is a Nestle's uh, 25th, I think, edition. Greek text, the Greek text that we have used as the basis for the New World Translation, this is Jehovah's Witness thing here, is the widely accepted Westcott and Hort text of 1881 by reason of its acknowledged excellence. But we have also taken into consideration other texts, including those prepared by D. Eberhard Nessel, Nessel on text, the Spanish, Spanish Jesuit scholar Jose Maria Bover, and another Jesuit scholar, A. Merck. The UBS text of 1975 and the Nestle text of 1979 were consulted to update the critical apparatus of this edition. Okay, there you have a Jehovah's Witness Nestle text. Here you have the 27th edition, and here we have the 28th edition. Oh, you're so fascinated, I'm sure, because I'm holding the original Greek. Oh, you know, yeah, right. But uh, you say, well, who did this one? Here's the 28th edition. Carlo Maria Martini, a Jesuit cardinal. He's dead and frying in hell right now. But the point is, he worked on this Nestle text committee. 
So I can prove, I can document the fact that Catholics put this one out. Jesuits, nonetheless. The Jesuit order that was created to bring all people back under the control of Roman Catholicism. I can document that they put this thing out. And you can pick up any Catholic Bible, and every single Catholic Bible, like this is the big one for the Catholics, the New American Bible, this thing here, and all other Catholic Bibles, rely on the Nestle's text. And that's the real point behind this thing. You say, oh, Erasmus was a Roman Catholic. Okay, if that's true, and they say, oh, you know, he dedicated one of his editions to the Pope or some kind of thing like this. Okay, if that's true, then please show me one Roman Catholic Bible that is 100% translated from the Textus Receptus. Show me one. They can't. So don't fall for this argument that, oh, Erasmus was a Catholic, and that proves that the King James is Catholic and the New Versions are Catholic. Oh, uh, no, they weren't. The King James Bible comes from Antioch, where they were first called Christians. This is the Christian Bible. This is God's Bible over here, not this junk over there.